Hey everybody, welcome to match two. We got ourselves a different opponent, which is awesome. We've won the die roll. We're going to play first, of course, and keep our hand. We're going to go back to playing on three, I believe. I'll think about it. I guess I've had all the time I can to think about it. Um, yeah, we're going to play on three. I just don't find two drops impactful enough on average. 1-1 one, one Flyer, each other rogue creature you control, which probably won't happen. Whenever a creature you control with a counter, which could happen, that player discards a card. Well, that's not fun. Let's make ourselves a 3-drop and see if we can get a Flyer. We get a 2-4. Uh, I have to exile a land I control, and I get it back when it goes away. You are a dick, turtle. You know that? Um... All right, so let's attack liberally with that turtle. Not that my opponent's going to kill a 2-4 in the next couple of turns. 3-3 uh, three, three defender. <laughs> so attacking doesn't even make any sense anymore. What a jerk turtle. I will take one. I will make another 3-drop because I'm hoping that land comes back before turn 8. <laughs> turtle number 2. 2-1 uh, two, flash. Target permanent co becomes the color or colors of your choice until end of turn. You become green. Because. Green. I choose green. There we go. All right. Turtle, you need to go. Wall of corpses. Uh, defender. Sack it. Destroy target creature. Wall of corpses is blocking. Do you wanna do you wanna do you wanna kill a turtle? Wait. Why'd they make a two drop? That's weird. Okay. <laughs> Apparently my opponent just wants to prove me wrong and say that two drops are impactful. Uh four drop, what do we get? A Johnny is chosen. That's not gonna do much unless we hit a bestow creature. But it's a 3-3, which, you know, can tussle with that ogre sentry. Opponent has domain. A 3-3, three, three, because it's a 0-0 zero, zero with three counters. If damage would be dealt to it, prevent it all and take a counter off. Well, that's fun. Five drop. What do we get? We get this guy. We just saw him. Uh, just a 3-3 three, three for me, because I don't have a green or a red creature. Uh, hey, Johnny's Chosen. Go... No, because that would trade, and that wouldn't... Or it wouldn't even trade, it would jump. Uh, Johnny's Chosen. Stay home. How is Wither worded? Deals damage in the form of 1-1. One, one, uh, minus 1. So it would not do that. Well, we're just going to get pinged away from that 1-1 one, one flyer, but that's fine for the time being. 4-4. Four, four. Whenever you can. Nope. Just a 4-4. Four, four. That's fine. Um, in with your 3-3, three, three, eh? Oh, it flies. I guess they have wings, but they're in the grass. All right. Hit me for 4. And it has counters. So Yup. The combos. The combos are working. Well, let's make ourselves a six drop. Hey, hi, six four. How's it going, flyer? Whenever a creature attacks you or a planeswalker you control, you can draw a card. Yeah, seems good. That'll get me back in the game. Thanks, Asperia. Seven drop. Birthing Hulk, 5-4, and a couple of Eldrazi Scions. No attacks, because you don't want me to draw cards and get back into this game, I don't think. Uh, I do want to play lands, though, so there you go. Pass the turn. Opponent is on 8. Avatar of Slaughter, all creatures have double strike and attack each turn if able. So I draw a bajillion cards, 
I get to kill Wormfang Turtle off. All right. Give me the cards. All the cards. I would. I would. I would. I would. I would. And I would. Thanks for asking. Now blocks, because otherwise we die. Um, we are going to kill that. We are going to kill that. We are going to chump that. We are going to... Uh, that flies. So I'm taking six in the air at the moment. We're going to kill that, and we're going to chump that. So I take six. Seems good. Get a land back. I have to discard a card. No concern of mine. And now a bunch of things are going to attack. And then I'm going to die on the crackback? Quite possibly. Quite possibly. Opponent's taking 12 in the air. And then these have to be blocked. One can just be chumped by that. They'll trade. And then I take 8, 9, 10, 11, 15, 20. I take 40 on the crackback. So that's fun. So I basically need to... Or sorry, defender, defender. Still, it would trade. Yeah, we uh, we need to find an answer right here, right now. Avatar of Slaughter. That is an impactful eight drop. Hmm. Did our opponent crash? This is precisely where our previous opponent disappeared. I'm gonna pause until our opponent reappears. They are back. There was no crash. All right. So I guess we're on nine, but I still think we're gonna make an eight drop here. To make an eight drop, um, well, it blocks that, but it, I still just die. Block that, and I take five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I take twenty-four, and I'm at eleven. So I do, in fact, just die. In fact, my opponent can just hit F two a bunch. And here they go. I draw all the cards. Can I just say always yes? Oh, can I just concede? I can block that. Yeah, just concede. Wow. All right. Well, at least we uh <laughs> we did make, get to make an A drop. I was worried about that stupid turtle. Oh, that turtle. Never seen that card before. Never want to see it again. All right. We are on the play. I will keep, and I think I'll make three drops. I still just don't believe in that two-drop method. I wonder where it came from. Because forever, for absolute ever, playing on three was the uh, the way to go. Opponent's thinking about their mulligan. Maybe they'll accidentally go to six. I have done it, I think, one time. Also, F6 through my turn. Some people will try to trick you. They'll click uh, draw first, and then you'll hit F6, just because that's what you always do on turn one if you're on if you lost the die roll, and uh, then goodbye to your turn. All right, opponent's somewhere else, so I will pause and wait for them to come back. Well, it's now been, I believe, six minutes. Oh, there we go. Our opponent decided to show up four minutes later. You guys know what I have to say about that. All right, play my land past the turn. Um, fine. Let's try this two-drop idea. I had a bunch of time to think about it. We get ourselves a 2-1. What does our opponent get for two? They get a 2-1 flyer. Can't block, though, so I guess I get to attack. But so do they. In for two, pass the turn. They make another two-drop. This person loves two drops. They're like the anti me. Four drop. What do we get? Jungle barrier. Two six defender. Draw card. Cool. Pass the turn. F 
four drop Mav Kozlek. It's just a two five. My barrier blocks it. But we're gonna need something to deal with that flyer before too long. We're on a ten turn clock as of this turn. Uh two three flying infect will do it. In fact, that'll just end the turn in five attacks. <laughs> A 4-4 four, four Cat Demon. That's never going to happen. Opponent can either attack, and I kill it, or I attack, and they take infect damage. We might win with poison. In for two. Sure, I'll kill it. Not entirely sure what that accomplished. <laughs> but I'm also not entirely sure what making a second two drop accomplishes. All right, we will make ourselves a six drop. It's a six drop by the name of Necro Savant. It's a five five. I can sack a creature to blah, 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 blah. It's a five five. That's what matters. Take two poison. And call me in the morning. No flyer, no flyer, no flyer. Ah, oh, three, three flyer. Welp, I will not attack into it. I could attack into it and make it into a a a, a one. One, yeah, a one one. Um, but I think I'd just rather win with infect. Hey, four four flyer. How's it going? Pass the turn. So this one is not the one that does anything. This is the Megamorph. Oh, it's got Death Touch. 4-4. Four, four. Enters the battlefield. Flip a coin until you lose. Put a counter on it for each flip you win. You lost. It's just a 4-4. Four, four. Opponent passes the turn. We are going to bash in the air for 4. Get ourselves an 8 drop while we're at it. An 8-9 trample. Feeling a bit dominant. Opponent trades, which means our infect plan is back online. 8-8. Eight, eight. Ew. Well, I'll play an extra land because we can, and because we're going to sack one. I'm just going to trade the Crusher for the Devastator. And we'll make another 8-drop. Uh, actually, first, I this is going to be the turn that I get a hasty mm -hmm. guy. I'm going to get in for 2, just in case everything goes away for some reason. They'll go up to four poison, and then we'll make an eight drop. Hey, it's my own crusher. How do you like dem apples? Vexing scuttler, we are in command. I will sack this mountain and uh, this two one, and then I'll kill it. Yoink. All right, in command. Let's drop an eight drop. It's a 5-5 five, five flyer. In for 8 because I gotta. Uh, in for 2 in the air. Eh, let's just get there. Team-ish. Sacked a pair of creatures. Um, double block, we will kill the 4-5. And you'll take a bajillion down to 9, up to 6 poison. Uh, Living Inferno is going to be game? Um, I think that's just game, right? It's five in the air. No, it's not just game. It's close to game. In. So he has to double block that. I guess he could trade, like, he could put the Inferno in front. And he wouldn't take a lethal... making him think double there block there go to one ah there you go uh yeah inferno is much more scary so we'll do that drop our opponent to four make ourselves an eight drop it's a cumulox another flyer <laughs> poor opponent flash lying five as you choose row row Still win. 
still just got there. I wanted to get there with infect though, but that blocks my infect. See ya, Baron Singir. And I'm gonna be boring and not even make a drop and get in. Block, block, die. Dead to poison. Woo! All right. Oh, that we lost game one. Right. It took six minutes for our opponent to reappear, so I forgot that we lost game one. I remember that game now. Back into the game. Let's see if our opponent makes us wait another six minutes or not. Ah, they're still just there. Excellent. I will keep. So, I mean, I guess I've won while playing on two, but it's just luck-based. Is two better than three? Hmm. I'm going to have to start keeping track of uh, some serious stats here. Get a nice big few hundred game study to find out. Drop him out and pass the turn. Imaginary pet. It's a 4 4. Pardon me? Uh, if you have a card in hand, it disappears. Alright, so no problem. My two drop is a 1 1. And target player gains control of target artifact, creature, or land I control? You are awful. You're just bad. 1-1 uh, one, one Shadow, that's a problem. That's as good, if not better, than a Pinger. Or not a Pinger. Uh, if, I mean, it's similar to a Pinger. Uh, a 1-1 one, one Flyer is what I meant. But at least we can attack for 1. Ooh, Evolve is real nice in Momir. Especially when it's 1 power. Basically, every turn we're going to grow that Crocodile Frog. A 2-2. Two, two. Uh, it's going to be a 4-4 four, four every turn. It's going to suck next turn, but that's about it. Drop a 4-drop. It's a 4-1. It can't block. So that's a problem. Um, I will get in for 2 because that's not going to block the Gnar. So we're going to have to take 5 this turn, which sucks a little bit. 2-5. All damage will be dealt to it. Okay, just a 2-5. Doesn't fly, looks kind of like it does, although I can't terribly understand what it is at all. I think it's like a samurai dude. Doesn't have arms, though. Um, Yeah, see a bizarre trader. You are just several kinds of bad. All right, five drop. We get a 2-2 two -two pro red. That does nothing. Tap five untapped goblins. Oh, I could have used that goblin. Um, We're not going to see too many goblins at five and above. Oh, they don't even trigger evolve. That's bad news. Um, Pass the turn. I got nothing. I got nothing. I'm going to have to take five again. I guess I didn't take five last turn. Gonna have, gonna have to take five for the first time. Unless I just throw the goblins under the bus. They're not ever gonna do anything and we're not gonna get five goblins, four more goblins. Goblins live at five and below. Five, five, you're gonna cascade through your entire deck. In for five. I will block. Uh, I'll take five. Use that for a chump blocker on later turns. Because he's got a 5-5 five five now. And that's a problem. All right, Momir. Give me something. Anything. All right, opponent. Pass priority, please. Um, yeah, we just need to get something. Give me a 5-5. Five five. Just a vanilla 5-5 five five would be fine. Something pro-green. Anything. Did our opponent not skip a turn when they should have? Next turn, they're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... They're going to have seven lands and discard to zero. 
They played... Did they play a 3-drop? Did we see a 3-drop? I don't remember. Hmm. Alright, opponent has disappeared, so I will pause and wait for them to come back. Well, hey, they're getting better. That time only took three minutes of my time wasted. Alright, let's drop a six drop. What do we get? Endbringer. That's good. That's real good. Gonna kill that off. Gonna block stuff. Yeah. I like it. Evolve my dude. That was a good card. And yeah, opponent's on seven for some reason. I must be forgetting a three drop that they made. Penumbra Worm. 6-6 six, six Trample. When it dies, you get a 6-6 six, six Trample. Pretty good. Alright, so if you attack in, I'm just going to eat that and block that. And you know I'm going to ping that. Um... Yeah, chump. So this is on tap during each other player's on tap step, right? So still need a board presence. Still need my opponent to actually pass friggin' priority during my upkeep. Thank you. Seven drop. We get ourselves a Grimog Gangler. We evolve. Seems good. We're gonna kill that Dothy. Gotcha. And we're going to pass the turn. Going to have to trade the angler for the worm, which is a pain in the butt. But hey, we're going to be on eight while our opponent is on seven. They're playing the flattery. They get themselves an eight-eight. Doesn't have trample at least. In with the worm. So if he worms, we're going to uh, block with the angler and then ping it to kill it off. Uh, that does mean we'll still need to get another 5-5 five, five to block the other worm, as well as something to do with that 8-8. Eight, eight. Stupid skeleton has done nothing. All right, thinking about the 6-6 six, six coming in. So we will have to take one damage off of that. All right, we will block. Cool. We will kill it. Get yourself a worm. Eight drop is a go. It's a breaker. Seems good. Alright, so we will ping the opponent right in the face. Just right in the face. Six, seven, sure. <clears throat> Man, that eight eight is going to be a pain in the butt. Because I don't want to take eight. I might have to trade the breaker for it. Because we don't have a win otherwise. Like if we attack with breaker, we get in for 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Ping him on his upkeep. 15. He goes to 5. Uh, it's close, but it ain't game. And I'm not willing to take 8 or throw away my Croconera. Oh, bye, Breaker. Bye. Oh, I forgot to ping. Damn it. All right. Well, he should be one lower. Freaking Naya Soul Beast. I swear I hit that more than anything else in this game. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to ping. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get back in this game. I on tilt from him wasting my friggin' time. Um, 8-5 haste, yep. Now we're just in giant amounts of trouble. Yep. I think we just lost anyways. Can I do anything here? 
doubt it. Block that. Block that, kill it. Block that, kill it. Take 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Take a bunch. Could block and kill that. Block that, kill that. Take 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Um, we're just done. We're just done. Block eight, block six. Kill that off. That sucked a whole great big bunch. Please, people, do not waste other people's time by just going away. If you have to go to the bathroom or get a drink or you get something, let the person know. But if you're just playing another game of magic, you are an absolute rude jerk. Uh, it is incredibly rude to sit down for a game of magic and say, oh, sorry, I'm just going to go play something else for a while. Your time doesn't matter. My time does. Don't do it. That sucked. We're one and one. Uh, we're going to go into match three and uh, hopefully go two and one. Uh, but hey, at least we're not 0 and three. <laughs>